make a birthday cake. This can also be used as a hat for birthdays. We make the cake. You can make this in any color you want, really. But traditionally, I use white. It's like vanilla. You can use uh, milk and brown or a darker brown and cocoa brown for chocolate, whatever, whatever uh, type of cake you want. But this is white today. We're using 6260s. We pump them up four pumps with our Qualitex red pump, leaving about a uh, three and a half to four inch tail. We've tied these in pairs. We call those duplets. So we've got six balloons and three pairs. What we're going to do is put all these together in the center. So now we have our cluster. The next step, this is key to the entire process. When we start measuring bubbles, we want to be consistent so all bubbles are the same size. We're going to do that across as well as down. We're going to make a pinch twist in, in the end of these spokes. A pinch twist in terms of weaving is used to change direction. It makes the balloon bend 90 degrees. We also want this to fit somebody's head, so kind of keep that in mind when, when measuring that uh, the balloons opposite should be the same size, but also try to make those bubbles in terms of length uh, proportional to the size of somebody's head. That makes this fit fairly well as a hat. So again, a five inch bubble, one inch bubble, and a pink twist. Once that changes direction now, it's 90 degrees. Do that to all six spokes. Five inch bubble.
key to this process again, making all these bubbles the exact same size so you measure each row to the previous row before you twist to make sure all bubbles are exactly the same size that keeps the pattern regular. Also, by making the vertical bubbles, the small bubbles, less than one inch in diameter, you're going to tighten up the weave so that there's no, no gaps or spaces in between the layers of this, in this case, our cake. Upside down is a basket. So this could be a cake or a basket. We'll show you both when we get to that point. So again, we're going to make a bubble, about a three-fourths of an inch bubble. And then measure and twist. Three-fourths of an inch bubble. Lock this close together. Three quarter inch 
This is a fairly consistent pattern, very regular. But also, if you tip the kick upside down, you have a basket. You can actually make handles. You can make handles and actually tie those together and turn this into a basket. We're going to save this as a cake today, so we're going to keep it upside down. To finish this off, I'm going to pinch twist. One in trouble for my pinch twist. Do that all the way around. Bring the remainder of the wood to the inside. Just going to carefully deflate the remainder of our balloon and tie this off to hide all of our knots. Again. People are always amazed at the final creation. They don't realize that practice weaving balloons is actually fairly straightforward and fairly fast. This entire tape only takes six balloons. To save time on the video, I'm not going to deflate, cut, and tie. I'm just going to show you the next step. You all know what to do after the pinch twist. Take your scissors, carefully deflate, tie the glue off, cut off the excess. I do not. Once again, twist. Now, after we deflate, tie, and cut off. We can actually wear this as a hat. But to save time on the video, because that's something you actually know to do by yourself, we're going to turn this into a birthday cake by making a candle. And whether it's a boy or a girl, male or female, pick their favorite color or pick pink or blue, we're going to make a candle. The very first step is going to be making the candle flame. Take a golden rod 260 or a yellow 260, yellow or golden rod, something flame colored. Just put enough air into our balloon, and push the bubble up. We're not going to use the whole balloon. We want to keep about a 3 8 inch uh, part of the balloon uninflated, so that's like the tip of our flame. We're then going to twist this off at the appropriate size for a flame and simply let the air out. We're going to tie this off. You can save the scraps for those of you that are very frugal, which is a nice way of saying cheap. You can save your balloon scraps and use this golden rod for something else at a later date because most of our balloon is still intact. But there is our, our flame. Put that horn blow around. Just lock it in place. Sure. The candle. In this case, I'm taking uh, spring lilac. But you can take any color you want. Candle. Again, one pump is usually sufficient because we're not going to use the whole balloon again. In fact, you can keep the remainder of this. 
also uh, reuse it, recycle it in some other project. We're now going to take our knotted end from our spring ladder and our flame. We're going to tie those together. So we tie those together. And cut off some of the excess so it's not a very bulky, bulky joint. Okay, so we have this so far. Now take your finger, we're going to poke this down and make an apple twist. So grab that knot with the other hand. Be careful to pull your finger out. Twist this around several times. Very carefully push that back in to lock it in place. Now our candle flame is attached to our candle. Make the candle an appropriate length. That's about a three and a half or four inch bubble to set on top of our cake. Maybe a little bit longer. It's about a four inch bubble. Make a pinch twist. And then simply cut off the excess. Allow it to deflate. Tie it so we don't lose any air. All you're going to do is push that pitch twist into the very center of our six spoke wheel to complete our tape. It can be used as is or actually more than a hat. At this point, try to get all the nozzles pointed in, so they're kind of good. Push that into the center. We now have ourselves a perfect cake. You can write happy birthday and the person's name on the side. If you want to make this even fancier, this, as you saw, it didn't take much time. What takes time is making it a little bit fancier. You can take um, same color as the candle or whatever their favorite color is. So if it's pink or blue for boy or girl, just put two pumps into a second color. Tie this off. And you're going to make a bunch of grapes. That's all you're going to do. Twist off a bunch of, oh, well, maybe half inch to three quarter inch bubbles. Give them a good twisting so they don't become unraveled. It's about three quarter inch size. Between a half inch and three quarter inch. Again, you want to keep these fairly consistent in size. Again, if you're pressed for time, don't worry. Unless you got some nitpicky person, they're not going to marvel at how inconsistent your bubble sizes are. They're going to marvel that you can make them a hat or a birthday cake for their birthday. So you're going to make a string of bubbles. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And usually you try to tend to measure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably seven bubbles. If you lock these in between, lock these in between, you can see I've already locked it here. And lock these in between the pinch twists as we go around. Lock those into place. And read. Give some more bubbles that are coming down. Don't worry about that. by this process is we're making like frosting. We can do this all the way around. We can decorate the entire side with a different color. Just to make it a little bit fancier. Um, again, that takes a little bit more time, but actually it's worth it. And the person you're going to give this to is going to make a big deal out of it. Again, just a basic cake by itself is, is uh, sufficient usually. If you do have the time, just this extra step makes it a lot nicer. And it be well received by the birthday person. So again, basic birthday cake, 
That's all there is to it.